Awo Shalom to Rastafari, my brothers and sisters. I want you to check this out and others who are interested in this. This is a little commentary on a point that hasn't really been sufficiently addressed, we don't think, by some of the other politicians out there and by some of the other um, black people, because this is all about how Gingrich, you know, he knows his audience, Newt Gingrich. He knows his audience, and he plays right into their fears, and I uses the particular um, race card very interestingly. And this election, which is coming up, is basically a racist, you know, this is, uh, there's a lot of racism in this, um, including the accusation that um, Obama is the um, food stamp president. Now, concerning the whole issue of uh, food stamps, this is from this page right here. It's known as the uh, C&L, Crooks and Liars, right? And this is the video cafe. And we're going to play a portion of this, and then we'll give a little bit of a, a, a commentary. But first of all, fact. More white, so-called European descendant, Anglo-American descendants or whites, in other words, receive uh, food stamps in America than blacks. In other words, more white folks are on food stamps than blacks. But this, of course, is not what is put forward in the media. So what is being used in this election is a subliminal suggestion by these particular candidates, and Newt Gingrich in particular, um, right here, Newt Gingrich in particular, that the economy is because we have a black president who's giving out food stamps to black people, and that's why the American economy is in a state of recession, because niggas are lazy and blacks are not working, so forth and so on, and they're not pulling their fair share because we have a food stamp president, which is a subtle, subliminal, um, racist, tongue-in-cheek expression. Now, just watch this and listen to this. This is, um, okay, here we go. Now, just to understand what was just said right here, right, what was said right here, um, Williams, Juan Williams, he says, uh, Speaker Gingrich, you recently said black Americans should demand jobs, not food stamps. Now, recognize this. He, New Gingrich, he's saying that black Americans, but more white Americans, are on food stamps than black Americans. And in, a, in many states where they're like 13% of, um, say, blacks that might be receiving the overwhelming majority who are on food stamps and welfare who need jobs are white Americans. But anyway, Juan Williams, he says, you also said that poor kids, in other words, implying poor black kids lack a strong work ethic and propose having them work as janitors in their schools. Now, here's what Juan Williams asks. He says, can't you see that this is viewed at a minimum as insulting to all Americans, but particularly to black Americans? Now, Gingrich, he responds, no, I don't see that. Now, the audience roared, absolutely roared. Now, let's just Look at this one more time. We have to analyze this, and we have to put forward the facts that... Speaker Gingrich, you recently said black Americans should demand jobs, not food stamps. You also said poor kids lack a strong work ethic and propose having them work as janitors in their schools. Can't you see that this is viewed at a minimum as insulting to all Americans, but particularly to black Americans? Blind like a bat. Mm -mm -mm. My daughter, Jackie, is sitting 
Now, 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 that was interesting right there, his daughter Jackie. Her last name is Cushman. Now, Cushan is something biblical, too. Cushan, look it up if you get a chance. And Cush also is Ethiopia or black. So it's interesting how they use black. You understand? They use the black. Just a point. This job was at First Baptist Church in Carrollton, Georgia, doing janitorial work at 13. And she liked earning the money. She liked learning that if you worked, you got paid. She liked being in charge of her own money. And she thought it was a good start. I had a young man in uh, New Hampshire who walked up to me. I've, I've written two newsletters now about this topic. And there were 50 people write me about the jobs they got at 11, 12, 13 years of age. I ran a young man who started a donut company at 11. He's now 16. <laughs> He has several restaurants that take his donuts. His father's thrilled that he's 16 because he can now deliver his own donuts. <laughs> um, what well, I have to say, and mm. it's fascinating because Joe Klein reminded me that this started with an article he wrote 20 years ago. New York City pays their janitors an absurd amount of money because of the union. You could take one janitor and hire 30-some kids to work in the school for the price of one janitor, and those 30 kids would be a lot less likely to drop out. They would actually have money in their pocket. They'd learn to show up for work. They could do light janitorial duty. They could work in the cafeteria. They could work in the front office. They could work in the library. They'd be getting money, which is a good thing if you're poor. Only the elites despise our now, now, stop that right there. That's another lie and everything. But this is entertainment. stamps than black people in America, but you won't hear that fact. Hey, President of America, that's true. Because more white people are out of work because of white people under this black president and than at any other time in American history. I know that I'm a politically correct, you're not supposed to use facts that are uncomfortable. Like the fact that more white people are on food stamps than black people. Second, you were the one who earlier raised the key point. There's a, the area that ought to be I-73 was called by Barack Obama a corridor of shame because of unemployment. Has it improved in three years? No. They haven't built the road. They haven't helped the people. They haven't done anything. Because of a do-nothing and a recalcitrant racist Congress. And how to represent the American government. So here's my point. I believe every American of every background has been endowed by their creator with the right to pursue happiness. And if that makes liberals unhappy, I'm going to continue to find ways to help poor people learn how to get a job, learn how to get a better job, and learn someday to own the job. And then when you come to the point that you own the job, like Obama, first black president, then they'll blame you. <laughs> Who put the